Hi guys, uh, today I'm going to be running through uh, how to do some um, basic maintenance on the, uh, the Technics 1200 uh, turntables. Uh, I've recently um, bought these turntables and I haven't um, taken this one apart yet, so I'm going to have a look and we'll discover together uh, what it looks like. Uh, these are a DJ Abel's decks from Sydney. Uh, you may uh, remember DJ Abel from back in the 90s, a bit of a rave legend, um, DJ, uh, producer, and also a promoter of some, some very big uh, Sydney uh, rave parties like Happy Valley, Midnight Madness, Watch While You Dance. Anyway, um, so without further ado, we'll, we'll get into it. So the first thing we want to do is, is see how quickly the, the platter actually uh, stops. Uh, the, so it's going to test the brake. So I'll take off the... Uh, the slip mat and a little bit of uh, plastic underneath to, to help with the slip and we'll just hit play on the decks and hit stop okay they're pretty good um, sometimes the brake doesn't work straight away and, and, and the platter will continue to, to uh, rotate uh, other times it'll work too good and, and it'll force the platter to go backwards so this one it's going a little bit backwards, but, but nothing that we should be uh, too worried about. Um, okay, so now that we've, we've done that, what we'll do is we'll turn off the power uh, to make sure we don't get electrocuted. Uh, we're also going to take off the head unit or the, uh, the shell uh, just for protection. We'll put it over here. Okay, so... Um, what we got here is the um, uh, the top of the um, the deck uh, and, and the platter. So how you take the platter off is you use your two uh, thumbs and you just slightly uh, lift up. Okay, I was afraid this might happen because it happened with this other one. So what we're going to do is we're just going to tap the the spindle. Okay, and still nothing. So I'm going to go for a bit of a heavier tap. Okay. And there we go. She slips straight off. So uh, inside the deck, uh, the actual platter itself uh, has a big magnet on it, and that forms part of the motor. Uh, it's a direct drive, as you probably know, which means there's, it's driven by, by magnets, uh, not, not, uh, not belt-driven. So we'll put that there. Might just put a, uh, a cover on it to stop any dust from getting into the top of the motor. Okay, so uh, I'll just I'll grab this little fella. Um, you can probably see there, there's quite a bit of uh, dust uh, on, on top of that plastic cover. Um, so that's what we're going to, uh, we're, we're gonna clean up first. So we're only going to do a cursory sort of clean. I'll just get rid of any of the bigger dust particles because we're going to take this cover off in a minute. Um, but any dust that we can get rid of at this stage will stop it falling into the uh, the main circuitry. It's a little bit loose, isn't it? Okay. So I've got some. Um, citrus based cleaner it's not harsh chemicals it's made out of uh, oranges and this is actually you can actually eat it oh, some people just touch it on their tongues just to, to, to prove that it's not um, toxic so <coughs> sorry just excuse me so um, we're going to get a little bit of dab of that and just clean up the the top cover. Taking a bit of dust off that. Okay. 
Okay, so we have one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five screws that we're going to take off. This is our, to cover the main part of the circuitry, circuit boards. So I had a, uh, a jar here somewhere. It's okay, we'll just put them over here. Quite a bit of gunk coming out. These probably haven't been cleaned in 20, 25 years. Put the screws over to the side. Now that plastic uh, cover uh, will just uh, pop straight off. Okay, it's not too bad. Uh, let me just get a brush. And we'll just get rid of some of the bigger particles. So let's have a bit of a closer look in here. Okay, so you can see it's quite uh, dusty. Uh, all in those edges there, quite, quite a substantial amount of dust. Look at that. So that's what we're doing this for. We're gonna clean off all that crud. Um, what's this? Yeah, big bits of stuff in there. Um, and then we're going to have a look at the, the spindle, see how it's turning. Okay, we'll put this back here. Be very careful. You don't want to crack or break anything. Uh, these are pretty expensive to replace or, or repair. Hopefully I can uh, sort out on the video editor how to speed all this up. Main power lead, which tucks under the transformer thing. Don't know what that big E stands for.
because these are Bell's decks, I don't want to be. I'm keeping them for history's sake. I don't really want to do too much to the outside. I don't want to leave the outside because cosmetically, uh, how they were when I when I got them. Um, so I'm just gonna. It's just maintenance in case I want to have a chuck a record on it or something. Getting there. Now what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to disconnect that lead second lead and the third lead to allow me to lift up the uh, the main circuit board um, a little bit easier um, this one goes to the, uh, to the pitch control this one goes to the, um, the start stop uh, on off button and, and the, the 3345 button um, and this little one on the Top, hopefully, I can take that off without damaging anything. Goes to the little right, right here. That one's not coming off too easily. Let me see if I can slide that off. I'll just leave that on for now. Okay. <coughs> now this board has uh, three um, screws. One, two, three, which will allow me to get into the, uh, the main motor. Uh, this is a, a plastic cover. It covers all the the, uh, the copper uh, thin copper strands. So you have to be really careful. You don't want to break any of those strands to break the circuit. These are real long and thin screws. Number two. And number three. Okay, so these have little clips, so they should be able to just Yep, you can tell when they're loose, and we'll show them close up to the camera. Oh, I'll just put that there. Okay, so what we're going to do now is take away the three main screws of the main board. Now this fell into the hole last time I did this, so I'm going to be careful not to, to cover the hole so they don't fall down and I have to take the bottom off. Okay, so those are off. So what we're going to try to do now is take, lift this up gently. Take out the spindle. Let's see if this comes off a little bit easier now. Yep, there we go. So there's the main, let me just see if I can get a close up of that. Uh, the main motor. Um, show you two. So we've got um, th two screws on the bottom of that. So we're going to undo do those two screws.
one. And two. Now the bottom guard guide just comes off. There's a little bit of oil in there, so just uh, leave that there because that helps lubricate the, the movement. I got these. So this is moving pretty freely. Well, I get it off, it'd probably be rude not to put a little drop of oil. I've got this uh, three-in-one multi-purpose oil, very low viscosity. Um, it's very light, so it won't sort of uh, build up. Um, so we're just going to put a couple of a drop or two in the middle there. Spin that around. And we're going to put one in the middle there. Okay, so before we put this back on, we're just going to put another little just drop of oil on the base there to help to help it move. Okay, you can feel when it slips back in. There's like a couple of grooves that make it uh, sit nice and even. One, one two. Now, it doesn't have to be super mega tall, just enough to make sure it doesn't go anywhere. Okay, so that's looking good. So while well, we got the main board um, undone from the base, we're just going to give a, another quick clean just to get rid of any additional <laughs> dust and and uh, dirt and stuff. I'm gonna try to get into the central reservoir where the motor sits. Give that a bit of a clean. So let me just bring it under here to show you what looks like under there. There's a little uh, gap or a hole uh, where the, the main motor sits. Now the motor uh, is not uh, symmetrical. You'll see there's at the top here, there's a little nub where my thumb is. Um, so yeah, it'll only sit in, in one particular way. Lift that up, put it through its hole, and where's that nub? There we go, there's the nub. It sits back nicely where it's supposed to. Okay, that's that's great. Okay, so make sure the wires are where they're supposed to be. We're going to give the inside a bit of a clean. Uh, it's a little bit dirtier than some of the, the others I've seen. This is where the magnet from the platter sits in. <laughs> and 
And as I was explaining before, there's very, very small uh, copper wires. Probably can't see those. So I don't want to break any of those to wreck it. Okay, so I'm going to see if we can get these connectors back on, number one. Number two. And hopefully number three. There we go, she all looks good. And now the three screws for the main circuit board. Again, doesn't have to be to within an inch of its life, um, but it does have to be enough to stop any movement. If you do travel internationally or between countries and take your decks with you there is a switch here to switch between 110 and 240 volt depending on whatever your country uses just tighten it up uh, and, and this blue one here uh, it actually says it um, uh, is for the um, pitch um, actually not sure what that one is I meant to pull this one which is the brake um, this one uh, when I was testing the brake before is how you adjust the, the brake speed but ours is are working okay so we're not going to bother with those okay just having a quick look to make sure I've got all the dust and dirt and grime before I up reassembling it all let's put this central cover back on again there's little um, connections here and here and here three and they'll just you'll be able to feel when they go back in place yep nice and easy one two three just going to check that camera Oh, that camera's fine, that one's off. Okay, this guy is still going. I'm just gonna clap so I can get the audio to match. Um, now, put the screws back on and I'm gonna quickly screw those back up. That's basically it, guys and girls. Just good to give it a few drops of oil every couple of thousand turntable hours. So that'll get me another couple of thousand easily. So we've got the main circuit board back on, the plastic cover. Uh, the screws uh, and we've done up the wires back on okay let's put the cover back on now the cover uh, will only fit one way because of these uh, recessed um, sections of, of the actual deck so it's quite easy to get those back in slips back in like that like a dream One screw, two screw, and I'll rush through this last because I'm sure you don't want to sit there and watch me put screws in.
Okay, so that's fine. Okay. What we're ready for now is the platter. Very careful, we don't want to damage the magnets when we put this back on. Okay. Now we'll leave the stem out off. We'll turn the power back on. And just check that it's all working okay, looks fine. What I'm doing now is just checking the platter light. I don't know if you can see that. The middle um, knob or, or the nudge um, should be not moving. Uh, well, this is exactly uh, the pitch is right in the middle. So that's 33, fixture to 45. Same thing. Uh, the light is totally, totally stationary. And I think that little blue. Uh, section of the inside was, was where we you can uh, change the actual speed of the, 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 the turntable or the platter uh, if you need, but this seems to be uh, working fine. Okay, so we'll stop that. We'll put the sticky bit of plastic back on to help with queuing. Um, and we have the stick mat here. Okay, so thanks for watching. Um, I appreciate your time. What I'm going to do now is, um, probably off camera, um, is get the orange citrus clean cleaning um, fluid that I have and just go through and, and clean up um, the tone um, section. See, so, yeah, there's a lot of dust and grime and, and, and crud in there. So, um, again, thanks for watching. Um, I'm going to put a few more videos on uh, about the 1200s, just how to, how to set them up properly, um, maybe a couple of others, so if you do want to see those just uh, click subscribe and hit the bell button, you'll be notified when I do upload some more. Um, and if you do have enjoyed this video, I'd be great if you give it a bit of a like, uh, just show your appreciation, like it costs nothing. Okay. That's pretty dirty. Alright, thanks again, um, I'll leave it there, um, and I'll see you all later. Bye bye.